Hi, I'm Mark from ablepaws.co.uk and in this video we're going to take a look at these pet steps from Easy Pet. By the end of this review, you'll know if these are the right pet steps for you, your pet and your circumstances. Okay, so before we take a closer look at these pet steps from Easy Pet, we need to get them unboxed and see how much assembly is required. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so that's our pet steps unboxed. So it looks like there isn't really any assembly. Uh, so what you do get in the box is you get the four pads. Um, these are self-adhesive, which will stick onto the steps. And you also get four rubber feet here and they will go on the base of the pet steps to stop them sliding. Uh, you also get an instruction sheet there, not that we need much instructions for these. So let's get these put together and then we can test them and see how well they work. Okay, so I hope you could see there how easy it was to put these Easy Pet steps together. There wasn't really any assembly required. You just needed to stick on these four self-adhesive pads that go on each step, and that's gonna help to um, stop your dog slipping as they go up the steps uh, onto the sofa or the bed or whatever you're gonna be using the pet steps for. So the other thing that needed to go on was these four pads here. This is again going to stop the, the pet steps from slipping. So particularly on my floor here, which is a very shiny tiled floor, the last thing you want is the, uh, your pet going up the steps and particularly on this last step, kicking back and the pet steps slide away from, from, the, from the surface. Um, so that's a really good touch there. Uh, so there's four pads. What I would say is make sure that you clean the plastic before you stick them on. Uh, because if there's any dust they're not going to ad adhere very well to the steps themselves. Okay so that's the steps assembled, let's take a look at these, uh, the specification in more detail of these uh, pet steps from Easy Pet. So looking at these pet steps in a little more detail, so the, the first thing is they're, they're plastic so they're going to be easy to wipe down. Um, I have tested some other pet steps, um, you can see reviews, there's links in the description below this video to these other pet steps but these are all where you can remove the cover and, and put them in the wash, put them in the washing machine, wash the covers, but you're not going to need to do that with these pet steps. This is just going to be simply a wipe down. Uh, these pads are self-adhesive, so they have stuck to the steps. So you're not going to be able to take these off to wash them or anything like that. But again, you can use a lint roller to get any pet hair off, or you can just wipe them over with a, with a cloth to clean them. So in terms of uh, the maintenance of these pet steps, it's going to be really good to keep them nice and clean. So these are non-slip, so this is like a, a velvet type pad. So that's gonna uh, help to prevent the dog from slipping as they go up the stairs. But the really good selling point really about these pet steps and where they, they differentiate between the other pet steps that I've tested is that they are foldable. So here you have uh, this, this leg here really, and there's two buttons here that you press, and then that releases the steps like so, and then they can be folded down flat. And this is ideal if you're not gonna have the pet steps out all the time, you want to put them away. And um, so that's, a, that's a, a benefit over the, the other pet steps, the foam and the wooden pet steps that I tested earlier. So that's a really nice feature. The, the other thing to bear in mind with these pet steps, they, they do just lock in like so, but they are not adjustable. So the height of these pet steps cannot be adjusted. They are uh, fixed to this height and I'll be showing you what the dimensions of these pet steps um, are in a moment when we get the tape measure out and have a look at them. So that really is it in terms of the, the features of these, these pet steps. So let's take a look 
at the dimensions of these steps and see who they would be most suitable for. So my sofa here is 40 centimetres in height. These steps are 47 centimetres in height. So I'll just confirm that, that's what it says. Yeah, so these are around 47 centimetres. So these steps are a little bit high for the sofa here. Um, the, the other steps that I've tested range from 30, so the box, the wooden ones there are 30 centimetres, the foam ones are 40 centimetres, which was perfect for my sofa here, which is 40 centimetres. These are 47 centimetres, so it's a little bit higher. So always just measure the surface that you really want to uh, use the pet steps on so that you're getting the, <clears throat> the right height for your particular circumstances. Having that slightly higher step would be ideal if I was going into a car, for example. So if I was going to take these into the car and use them to get my pet up into the boot, again, measure the, the boot the, to the lip of the boot and then buy the steps according to the height. In terms, so in of, the terms of the width of the steps, um, we've got around 40 centimetres in width, which is the same as the, the other two pet steps. However, if you measure inside the actual stepping area, you're looking there at around 34 centimetres between those two uh, plastic edges there. The depth of the step is actually quite important. So there we have around 16 centimeters in terms of the depth of the step. Um, and that's quite a bit less than the, the wooden steps that I tested as well. So the other thing to consider is the clearance that you have between your bed or your sofa to any any obstacles that you have in front, such as a coffee table, for example. So you always want to just make sure that you have enough clearance from the, um, from the sofa or the bed out. So this is around 60 centimeters in length, these pet steps. Um, and that's a, really good, that's a really good distance there. That's quite uh, a short distance, but it will make, it will, you can see there that you've got four steps as opposed to the three steps on the other. So when you have a shorter length, you're gonna have a steeper incline. And that's particularly true with pet ramps as well. So I did actually look at the, um, the smallest pet ramp that I could find, uh, indoor pet ramp, and it was actually 70 centimeters, 75 centimeters. So a ramp is going to be, is going to come out uh, a lot further and whether a ramp. So that's uh, an overview really of the specification of these pet steps, but please stick around to the end of this video because I will be going through the pros and cons of these steps and comparing it to the other steps that I tested earlier. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to get my Maltese to use these steps from Easy Pet. She has used pet steps before, but only very recently. So when I did the review of these two other pet steps, she, she used them and she did really, really well on them. So let's see how she gets on with these Easy Pet steps. So Lily, come here. So what we need to do is create a very positive and fun in, uh, environment when you're teaching your pet to use pet steps. So again, use the favorite treats, uh, positive reinforcements, lots of encouragement, uh, and let's see how we get on. Okay, Lily, come on. So we're just gonna try to get her on this first step. Come here, darling. So as I did mention, Lily here is completely blind. So we do have those additional challenges, but let's see how we go. Okay, Lily, come here. Come here, come yeah, Good girl, and hop, hop, here. Good girl, and a treat and just plenty of praise and reward, even for just small achievements. Okay, what I do like at the first impressions is these sides there. You can see they're stopping her from coming off the edge. And look, she's doing really well. Yes, good girl. Let's see if we can go all the way up, up. Yeah, good girl. Come here, darling. Good girl, so that's going up the steps. Now coming down the steps could be a little bit more challenging for a blind dog. And actually if your dog is uh, fully sighted, then that's not gonna be an issue. So what I did notice with the wooden pet steps, she used her nose just to touch each step so that she knew that she wasn't gonna drop down, that she knew that there was something there for her to go onto. So let's see whether she does that with these easy pet steps. Okay, come on darling, we're gonna go down. Come here, up, up, up. Come on, yes. And there, you can see she just touches her nose on the step so that, she, so that she knows there's something to go down on. And again, come here, here. Good girl. And then the next one, and the last one. Are you gonna use your nose? Yes, good girl. And come on then, you know it's there. Yeah, good girl. Oh, okay, so that's not bad. That's a good try. So that's a good girl. So plenty of praise. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up again. So come on, up, up, up. 
hop, get the cat, hop, 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 get the cat, and hop, 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 get the cat. Okay, come up and then we're gonna- Okay, climb. so with my Lily here, who's completely blind, you can see that these pet steps weren't particularly ideal. And I believe that is because of the, the, the depth of the steps. She couldn't actually stop on what just a single step uh, as she could with the wooden steps. Naturally, the foam steps are very curved, so she didn't have a problem with those. But with these particular steps, she did struggle. So if your dog is partly sighted or blind, then I wouldn't recommend these. I would be going for something more like the other two pet steps that I tested. And as I said, there's a link in the description below this video to those pet steps. If your pet is fully sighted, then I don't think these are gonna be a problem because they're gonna be able to see going up the stairs and they're gonna be able to see coming down as well. In terms of the pet steps themselves, um, we're now going to take a look at the, the pros and cons of these steps. So in terms of the pros, what I really like about these steps, and when I compare them to the, particularly the foam ones, is how stable they are. They are really, really solid, um, and you don't have that feeling that they're gonna tip or move if they get kicked from one side or the other. So really, really stable. The other great thing about it, as I said earlier, they're gonna be wipeable. They're gonna be easy to wipe down and keep clean. But the main advantage with these pet steps over the other two pet steps is that they fold flat, which is really, really good if you're gonna take them somewhere or you're gonna store them down the side of a cupboard or something like that. So that's a really good plus point with these steps. Another advantage of these pet steps over the, the other pet steps that I tested, the wooden ones and the foam ones, is that these you can go and take outside to your car because the, you, these you're not going to want to put on your driveway. They're going to get dirty. The base is going to get damaged. But with these uh, steps, that's not going to happen. So these could be used outside to get your, your pet into the car. I can't see any problem with that. The only thing I would be wary of is these little these feet that stick on um, I believe they could easily become uh, knocked off and then when you bring it inside you're going to be on the plastic and that's going to slip. So just be a little bit careful if you are using these outside uh, that you don't use these, these little uh, rubber feet that stick onto the base of the steps. steps. So all in all, very, very impressed. Yes, they weren't right for my Lily who's blind, but I can see definitely the, advantage of, the advantages of these pet steps over say the other pet steps. So what about the cons of these easy pet steps? So the, the first thing to mention, well, the first thing actually is to mention that if you have a blind dog, then they're probably not gonna be the right steps for you because the steps are so shallow. You could see there that my Maltese, as she was coming down, she does like to stop on a step and then have a think about it, touch the next step and work her way down as she did with the wooden steps. So that's the first thing to mention. Um, the second thing is the colour. So they come in two colours. So they come in this black or they come in a beige colour. So if you're looking for a pink or a blue or something to match in with your decor, then you're not going to find that with these Easy Pet Steps. I've gone for the black here because it's the most neutral colour that will go with my, my decor. The other thing is that they don't specify or Easy Pet don't specify the maximum weight of these steps. So what I would gauge from me feeling them and, and looking at them, I would say that 40 kilograms as a max, really, uh, that's around 90 pounds. So you're looking at a German Shepherd, easily these would be able to take that weight and probably a lot more, but safely I would say around 40 kilograms, which is a lot more than these pet steps, these other pet steps that I've tested. So that's it pretty much in terms of the, the cons of these steps. Um, the only other slight issue that I did find is when you actually fold in these down, you need to press these two buttons here. Now I'm sure over time they will become easier, but they can be a little bit, actually they are loosening up already. So uh, that's probably not gonna be an issue. But when I first tried them to, to release these, this, uh, this foot here, was a little bit difficult, but that does seem to be loosening up and that does seem to be working okay now. So that's it really, very minor negatives with these steps. That's it, I hope you found this review useful of these Easy Pet steps. 
Uh, if you did, could I please ask that you click that thumbs up button below this video, it'd be much appreciated. And why not hit that subscribe button as well so you get notifications of any future videos that I do. If you have any questions regarding these Easy Pet steps, then please put it in the comments box below this video and I'd be happy to answer them for you. If you have your own experience of these steps, why not put that in the comments box as well below uh, so that you can let other readers have an insight into how you feel about these steps from Easy Pet. So if you would like to see more details about the different pet steps and a comparison of what makes the best pet steps, then head on over to the ablepaws.co.uk website where there's lots of reviews. There's also a video there that shows you how to teach your dog to use these steps as well. So head on over there, there's lots more information uh, that will be able to help you make an informed decision. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video review.